Oh good, look right there. We have a flower bud and hopefully we can come back and catch it when it's in bloom. A couple buds there. It's going real close. Okay, this is telemacro mode. That should show a little better. Not much to see yet. Anyway. Now this is a la rather large one. Let's just move the camera in real close and get in there. Kind of hard to see in the bright sun. Now I'm blocking out the sunlight so we can look at it without so much glare. How about a close up. There's an awful lot of junk in there, too. Now, just for comparison, I'll show you a telemacro view here. And then we'll zoom out. little buds. Okay, we have a ride. Look at that. Look what we have. A couple of nice blooming horse cripplers. This is the place. Let's check it out. Okay, we're bound to see some activity here, I hope. Let's go in for a close-up. That's a pretty good view, but I think I'm going to move around to the other All side. Right, what we want to see is this flower up close here. All right, there's your super close-up telemacro of a horse crippler flower. Unfortunately, right now, there doesn't appear to be any activity. But it's still pretty. Now I'm blocking out the light so we can get a closer look in here. Alright, so now I can zoom in and get a super close up for you. Okay, that's about as close as I can get. Oh, look, we have a spider! Spider action! Cool. Looks like a jumping spider. Well, guess what? He jumped. Right out of view. I don't know where it went. There's some hairs for you. Close up of the spines. Well, there's a close up look at the flower. Nice big lobed pistol. And tons of stamens under that. And these petals are a really nice little frill on the edge. They almost look like feathers. Nice little delicate pattern.
All right, that's enough fun for one day, isn't it? All right, now I'm gonna get up and let some sunlight in here. We'll see what it looks like with the sun. All bright. Hopefully, that's colorful. Texas Horse Crippler. I'm sure this is gonna pick it up. I don't know what this is. On my finger. Very interesting little bug. Interesting look to him. Very small insect, can't tell what it is. Alright, you ready to fly away? Let's see you spread your wings. Come on, it's windy out here. Get going. Sure are weird looking, but I can't get a good shot of it for some reason. Too small. Okay, we're out of memory space. Okay, uh, well, I waited a few months, and look what happened. Flowers turned to fruit. So let's get in here and look at some close-ups of these fruit and see if they're ready to pick. Okay, now the fruit on these plants turns bright red long before it's actually ripe. And uh, we don't want to pick the fruit too early. But we do want to get them before the birds do. Because the birds like these, so... Okay, in the shade here, as I go in close on this fruit, you can see it's red, but it's got a white spot here where the sun's burned it. And uh, this other one over here has got a little bit of white on it. Sometimes they actually turn dark or they shrivel up when they start to get rotten or when they get overripe. This one you can see has some stripes on it. Let me pull this off. You can see that a little better. Signs like that that I look for to tell me that the fruit is actually ready to pick. And uh, can't see any seeds right now. This one's ready. There you go. Seed action in the sunlight. Let's see it. So that's it. I think these three will be good for today. The other ones are still ripening. They're very close. So I'll have to keep an eye on them, but within a few days I'll probably see if I can see them. The fruit already split open, so this one's definitely ready. Let's pull it off. There you go. Yeah, if I don't pick these, the birds will definitely get them. Or the ants. Okay, so what kind of a snake do we have today? It looks like a baby. Fangless night snake. Probably a young one. They don't get very big. I'm only going to get about two feet at the most. Okay, so we want to get a close up on them in the sun. Alright, that looks real good. Nice shot of the head. Look your eyeball. Okay. We're ready to let them go. All let right. her rip. Loose the snake down the hole. Go down the hole there. That's your new home for now. That's right. Go to sleep. You're a night stalker, aren't you? Gotta make sure it's 
big enough. I thought he'd go the other way, but I didn't see what was going that way. Probably a little mouth hole. Looks like he's happy there. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. Goodbye.